Hello everyone. In this video, I will show you how to connect a C application to MySQL database using Visual Studio 2022. So first, let's create a C project. In this window, we can select C++ as the language and then we need to select Empty Project. Now let's click on Next. In the project name, I will call it Connect C to MySQL. Now let's click on Create. Now the project has been created, but it is empty. So let's create a new C file. So let's make a right click on the project name, then Add, then New Item. In this window, I have to select C++ file, and also I need to modify the extension. So I will provide it with the extension .c. Also, I will modify the file name and I will call it main.c. Now let's click on add. Now I will paste a simple C application that allows us to connect to the MySQL server. So in this file, we will connect to the MySQL server, which is available on this local machine. So we will connect using the root user and using the root password. So this is the password of the root user. And then we will create this database if it does not exist. But we can see here that we have some errors. So to fix them, we have to click on project, then properties. In this window, we have to select all configurations and for the platform, we have to select x64. Then we have to expand CC++ and we have to select general. Then in the additional include directories, we have to add the include folder of MySQL. So MySQL server is installed on the C drive into a folder called program files into a folder called MySQL. Then we have to open this folder. It is MySQL server 8.0. And we have to select this include folder. Now let's click on select folder. And let's click on OK. Now let's expand linker. And let's select general. Then we have to select additional library di directories. And we have to add the lib folder of MySQL. So let's go to C. And then let's go to Program Files. Then MySQL. And then MySQL Server. And here we have to select this lib folder. Let's click on Select Folder. Then OK. Then we have to select Input. And in the additional dependencies, we have to add a new lib file. So let's click here. And we have to add the lib file. So let's go to the folder that contains this lib file. So it is on the C drive, into program files, into the folder called MySQL. Then we have to open this folder, it is MySQL server. And here we have to open this lib folder. Now we have to copy the name of this lib file, it is mysqlclient.lib. And let's paste it just here. Now let's click on OK, then OK. And now we can run this application. So here the application has been executed correctly. We can close this window and we can open MySQL to check that we have created the new database correctly. So this is the new database that we have created. And to check that it has been created correctly, we can open the command prompt. Then we can connect to the MySQL server. 
So hyphen U allows us to provide the username and hyphen P means that we will provide the password. And here let's provide the password. Now we are connected to the MySQL server. So to see the list of the available databases, we can use the following command. Now let's hit enter. And here we can see that this database has been created. 